Greeting again, my brothers and sisters. I hope that last week you have learned something from the book of Acts chapter 1. The book of Acts chapter 1 is good. And we learn about waiting. This week we continue to learn from the book of Acts chapter 1. Again, I'm going to read from the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 4 to 5. And while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You heard from me, John baptized with water, baptized those who believe, repent and believe in God, he baptized with water. But you, will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Jesus said, wait here. You wait in Jerusalem. There is a gift from the Father for you and for I. Just wait here. We talk about wait and waiting. There's a waiting and also there, there is an appointment in those appointments, we have to prepare, prepare ourselves during the waiting. We prepare ourselves to read the word, to study the word, to pray and all that. And the expectation to believe and you will see the result that comes from God. And this week, we continue to study, to receive, wait and receive the gifts from the Father. The gift from the Father is precious. It shows that the Father is a generous Father. And show that you and I are valuable before God. That's why He gave us this gift. There's a gift for you and the gift for me and the gift for everyone in the whole world. In the book of James chapter 1 verse 17 to 18 every good gift and every perfect gift is from above good gifts and perfect gift from above from heaven from god coming down from the father of the light with whom there is no variation or shadows to change there's no changes is given to you and to me. Verse 18, of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruit of his creatures. Good gifts have been given to you and to me. From the Father, because you are important. You are special before God. In the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28 to 20, uh, 30. Verse 28, and after word, I will pour out my spirit on all people. This is the scripture from the Bible. The prophesied by the prophet Joel. He that God the Almighty will pour out his spirit on all people. All people mean all people in Cambodia, people, people in Thailand, people in Malaysia, people in Singapore, all over the world. In all people. Your son and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream, dream. And your young men will see vision. Even on my servant, this is the word of God, even on my servant, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. Verse 30, I will show wonders 
in, he in the heaven and on the earth. Blood and fire and billows of smoke. He said he will pour his spirit on all the people, on you and on I. John baptized the people. When people repent, repenting from their sin, and then baptize, and they bury the old life in the tomb of water by faith. But Jesus said, he will give us the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The promise of the Father. In the book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 49. And behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you. But stay in the city. Jesus says, stay in the city until you are clothed with the power from on high. There's a gift from the Father. Stay in the city. Stay in Jerusalem. Stay wherever you at right now and wait on God. Just stay there and wait on God and receive something from heaven. And in John, Chapter 14, verse 26. But the helper, talking, the helper, about the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. The helper. There's a God that's ready to help you and I. Called the helper. The Holy Spirit. He's ready to help you and I any times of need. That helper come from the Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, He will teach you, He will teach me of all things and bring your remembrance, all that I have said to you. Sometimes when we read scriptures, when we read, we read the Bible, we don't remember. God told us something to do something, we don't remember. But the Spirit, the helper, from the Lord God will help us. When you receive the Spirit, it's really helpful. You know, I believe that every one of us want to do great things in our life. Sometimes we make mistakes and make a lot of mistakes. We don't want to make mistakes. This mistake will hurt us. We hurt people around us as well. But to avoid making the most mistakes, we have to wait on God to receive the power from above to clothe ourselves with the spirit of the living God and the spirit called the helper he comes in to our heart and helps us and show us and direct us to walk out of the trouble because you are precious remember you are precious before God God he doesn't want you to be in trouble. This helper will teach you and I of all things from the Word, from the Word of God. In the book of John, chapter 16, verse 13, when the Spirit of truth comes, see the Spirit is the Spirit of truth. Come, He will guide you into all the truth. He will guide you. He will guide me into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own authority. But whatever he hears, he will speak. He hears, he will speak. And he will declare to you the things that are to come. To prophesy the Word of God, to speak the Word of God, is to correct you and to direct you and to warn you and I. This is important. Important for us. We need to have the Spirit of Truth. 
We need to have this spirit of truth in our lives, in our heart, in our head. We need to do that. And when you have it, allow God to lead you as well. In the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 38, And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. After Jesus died and rose again, he go back to heaven. And people still not know that Jesus Christ is the Lord God. And Peter got the courage to preach the gospel to the Israelites. Come on, man. Come on, woman. Repent from your sin. Repent. And baptize every one of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that he will forgive your sin and you will receive another gift your sin will be forgiven you will not fall under the influence of the world anymore but now you are belonging to the kingdom of god and then after repent and receive from god there is another gift the gift of the holy spirit come upon you and upon me that day there are like thousands of people believe in God so this is important there is a promise of the power of the living God for you and for me this power will come and overtake over our power we don't want our power we want God's power to control over our power so that God's power will help to convict our bad behavior to direct us to the right path to destroy the work of the evil one in our lives to set you to, to set me free from the old habits of our life to help us not to hate people. Easy to forgive people when people committed sin against us instead of hate but love people. We are back to the kingdom of God in full restoration. When the Spirit comes, He heals our diseases and sicknesses as well. He restores the broken hearted as well and he restore your identity and you will not continue to live your life and our life to be a fearful person anymore but you will become a brave person it's important for us to receive this power from the Lord our God. We need His power. In Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, when the day, there's a promise, a promise, promise, promise. And then when the day of the Pentecost came, they were all together, the disciples all together in one place. Suddenly, they're all together. Suddenly, a sound like a blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them there's a wind from heaven not just a wind there's a fire the tongues of fire come upon every one of them it, again there's a waiting and waiting and waiting then it's not just waiting the promise come to pass and all of them were filled but for all of them were filled with the holy spirit 
filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in another language, another tongue, as the Spirit enabled them. So they come from another country, they have a, their own culture, their own language and stuff when they come to Israel. They start to understand the word and they start to speak and people were so amazed. People were so shocked. How come these people, they're not from here? How come they can speak the languages of Israelites? This is important when the power of God come upon me, come upon you. It's a wonderful thing. We need that power of God. The first thing that we need to do, if you are to listening to me today, the first thing to, you need to do in order for you to be filled with the Spirit of God, you need to repent from living the life to imitate the life of this world. Walk away from that and go to Jesus. Say, Jesus, accept me as your son. Accept me as your daughter and forgive my sin. I believe the Lord God will accept you and to his family and your sin will be forgiven. And after that, you can receive the gift from the Father, which is the gift of the Holy Spirit. Just receive it. And you receive it by faith. When you receive by faith of God, I need that Spirit. I need your Spirit to come into my spirit, to have influence over my spirit. And I believe that Spirit of God they come in to your spirit and influence over your spirit. And you will see a lot of changes. You will see all of those bad behaviors and bad habits and all that will be transformed by the power of God. And then after that, you continue to use the power that was given to you and to me start to use this power in living our life for example if you you see sick people you pray for them if you pray for them you will see that they will be healed in the name of the lord jesus christ then you testify you start to testify share testimony of the goodness of god that he allowing you to heal people through his name because he has given the power from heaven to you and I my brothers and sisters we are living in such a difficult time this time is difficult it's so difficult we can avoid we cannot avoid living this life just depending on our own strength only. We need the strength from the Lord God. He promised with us that He will give us His power through the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do much. You just wait on God and receive it by faith. Then you will have it. It's not that difficult. It's not a hard work. God can give it to you. Just wait on Him. Receive from Him. And using that power. We need God. We need God to help us in every day of our life. We need God to do that. Will you join with me in prayer? Let's invite God to come into our heart, to come into our home, to come into our community, to come into 
other countries. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord God, you are the good Father. And your word said, all the good, good gifts coming from God the Father, coming from above, coming from heaven. Lord God, this afternoon, Lord God, we receive that gift from you to come into our heart, to come into our home, to come into our community, to come into our country, Lord God. Lord God, we want to get out of this pandemic, Lord God. This pandemic destroying the world, Lord God. But we believe that you are the almighty God will restore this broken world, Lord God. Lord God, protect those who don't have COVID yet, but heal those people who have COVID, Lord God. Lord God, I speak to that germ. I speak to that virus in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The virus needs to be dead. Lord God, set your people free. Set your people free in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. When you heal, when you restore, when you are happy, when the Lord God solve your problem, don't forget to share with your friend. God bless you. You have a wonderful evening. Take care.